Welcome back to another video of Smith Fishing Outdoors, and today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite topwater baits, flaptails. And we have Rich here, he's going to give us some tips on like what time of the year he likes to use them. Let's get right into it. Well, well I like so, flaptails. I know you do. You know <laughs> what? And so do I. You know, they definitely have a time and a place. I think uh, what's happening today in the marketplace, there's getting to be so many of these flaptails on the market that the guys are asking questions of which ones, you know, you know, would work for them. So I think, you know, to be probably fair, you know, we can kind of give you an idea and highlight of each flaptail and then they can, the people, the people that are watching this can actually pick from there, you know. And again, each flaptail has a different unique sound, so. And we're not, and just so people understand this, we are not trying to leave anybody out here. Yeah. Okay. These are baits that, you know, Fisher, you know, likes, that I like, your dad likes. And the They're, ones I actually have. Exactly. <laughs> These are the ones that tells you something. These are the ones you actually have. That doesn't mean that there's other flap tails that aren't good flap tails. One of the baits I see missing here right now is a psycho flap from Chaos Tackle. And that thing is, is loud. It's got a good ching, 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 mm -hmm. ching, ching coming through the water. We just don't have one. So, Rick Elbers. Jason Smith needs a flat, uh, psycho flap in his repertoire here. So, <laughs> yeah. anyways, I mean, we got flap tails from Lee's to Randy Pafford, TRs, and you got What's TRs. That? And this one here is made by Big Guy Baits, Big Guy and, Baits. And, and and it's different from the rest of them. I think probably the you know the best way to do this is the first one you've got sitting there in front of you is is uh, Lee Lures and Lee Lures. You know, Lee Tauken makes one of the finest flap tails on the market. And the difference in this bait here. Why do you think his is, is what makes it so good? You know, I just think his, first and foremost, his construction is tremendous. He, he always has built, he, he always, regardless whether it's a flap tail or tail bait, anything he makes is just well made. You know, there's, you know, and, and to get really, you know, uh, you know, to be honest about it, there is nothing new. Some, you know, you watch these people in the musky world today, you know, they get on Facebook. That's one of the worst things that ever happened was Facebook to the in in industry. You know what? There is no new baits. They're all basically copies with maybe a little twist yeah. to make them a little bit different. Would you agree with that? Who do you think made the first flap tail? Where... Well, the first flap tail that I ever used, actually the first flap tail was the head and flap tail. They were made back in the 1930s. But probably the, the bait, and I have thrown those, but the bait that I'm probably, that got me into fishing flap tails was Dave Snotty. And it was a bait called the Snodlow. And that's probably, I would say that the Snodlow was the bait that began the, you know, it, the, it made the bait popular. It, it brought, you know, flap tails into the circle of fish and muskies. Prior to that, it was, it was Hedden. Hedden made the very first flap tails on the market. Mm -hmm. Now, they've come a long way, baby, since then, okay? And again, you know, you got Lee. Lee makes one of the, I think, you know, Lee uh, lures... I would say TR, I would say Randy Pafford. How many people know who Randy Pafford is? But I do. We, we do because Randy makes some of the finest custom musky lures on the market today. And there might be only 20 of them a year. Exactly, but he's still, here's a, this is a Randy Pafford. Look at, he's got his own custom copper blade on the back. Yes, and, if, and that's the key thing. If you look at all these blades, they're all different and they all have different sounds. So before we get ahead of ourselves, we're going to start with this one here. This is a Lee Lures, uh, Lee Tauken, you know, flap tail. And like, it's, it's just a well-made tail, but it doesn't have anything in the back except a metal ring into where it, it can it can slightly change. If, oops, if you, see how quiet that bait is? There's a time when I like a quiet flap too. You know, you don't have to be really tingy either. There's something to be said about that. Jason, I think what I've noticed today, the younger kids today, and what I guess would, I guess, I don't know, I'm not, I'm at that age where I, I don't pay attention, but you hear them talk about millennials and in, in Generation X. I think the millennials, you know, want everything loud. 
they want to have a loud bait, but loud doesn't always work. I don't so, know. When I was fishing with Lee, he always wanted this thing to be slower. So he kicked it slower, and he had more fish come after him when I was going faster. And when his was slower, it was quieter. You picked up on that, didn't you? Yep. And that's and that is that's very important. But see, you know, Lee is not. I mean, he's not an old guy, but he's he's he's, he's older. He's probably fifty or something. He's my age. Yeah, he's your dad's age, but he understands. Your dad understands. I understand. Lee understands. Sometimes quiet and slow is going to produce more fish and in many cases bigger fish so that's a you know that is a a quiet flap tail and again don't be afraid to throw that sometimes muskies prefer a quiet bait so the next bait i would say in line which is another variation would be the randy pafford and i notice on randy he's just got that little knob that the, that, little, that little bit that little that bit one's got like a little knob sticking out the back where show Lee's like he's got he's, he's got, got that, that key metal. ring that metal key ring on the back for it to pop off of. Everybody's got something different. You can go right down the line and you got you got a cartridge and you got um, an, another washer. another dishwasher and then you got another different plate. They gives them all their unique sounds and that's what's fun about fun about flap tails. And this flap tail is also unique because the the a screw eye is right in here on the bottom so right yep. on the bottom of the bait which i think it might make it a little bit a little more of a wake pushing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the fish can find it easier this is the randy pafford flap tail hear the difference it really knocks off that back thing a lot but not only that but He's got it, he, you know, when I fish with, you know, with, with flap tails, um, I prefer brass and or copper. I was elated to see that Randy had a copper blade because you don't see that anymore. Some of the earlier flap tails had a copper blade and for whatever reason they quit using copper. Listen to that. And you see it's got that nice wobble. That's a nice looking bait. Pushes a nice wake, as I was saying. You can just hear that from a mile away. Actually, that sound gets transmitted down into the water. And believe me, a muskie can hear that without any problem. He can pick up that vibration through its lateral line. He can take and hear it through his inner ear and they can hear underwater, they can hear 10 times better than what we can actually hear. That's crazy. So, um, so those two baits, even though that this bait has got not, not a lot behind it, because of the copper blade, it's got a little bit more sound than the lead lures. And when you want, two bait, you want a quiet bait, these are the two baits you might want to choose. So, I would fish these baits in maybe a clear to stained water. Um, I would actually prefer both of these baits when in post foam conditions. I think that's probably one of the key times a flap tail works at its best. People talk about... Let's say a quiet one. Yeah, yeah, a quiet one. Yes, a quiet flap tail. In, in post foam conditions, you know, in the post front you end up with mile high skies, blue skies during the day. Mm -hmm and the water's calm as glass in the evening hours, it's hard to beat. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna be calling Randy Pafford and see if I can get on the list to get one of these because <laughs> this will be a dynamite bait, not only in clear to stained water. I would use this in stained water, but this is gonna work excellent in dark water on, on, a, on a pulse frontal day. This is a great, this is a great sounding bait. Let's get, let's get moving to the next one. Yep. Here we have a TR. TR Custom. And what I like about these is sometimes you can tell when the bait was made. 2018. <laughs> that was a good year. Good vintage. Yeah. Actually, I think that bait was a, been a pretty good bait for you, hasn't it? Yeah. I mean, I know the cameraman behind there's got a 46 on this one. <laughs> Ooh. 
When you get one fish on a bait, on a bait like that, you guard that with your life. Yeah. Now, if you notice something, when you look at this bait, okay, look at the tail on it. Look at the difference in, say, that tail on it than what is on this Randy Bafford. It's a totally different tail. This one's a little more bent to the sides, made out of a different material. It's brass. Yep. One thing about TR Custom Lures, most of all, I think all of his blades are made out of brass, except maybe the turtle topper. Yep. Otherwise, he makes everything out of brass, which I love. Mm -hmm. I love brass as a material or copper, you know, for sound. So, so now, why don't you put that on and show him the difference in sound of that bait. And I know one of the first times I ever used this thing, I had like seven fish follow me, waked right behind it. And that was crazy. And if I remember right, that was in October. Yeah. Late, early October. That's a sweet sounding flat tail. Oh, weed. <laughs> yep. Still sounds good with the weed though. Weed. You keep grabbing those. That's one thing a flap tail's good at. There's plenty of hooks to grab weeds. Oh yeah. Now, just hits off that 223 cartridge in the back. One of the things that, you know, that I want to mention, you know, we talked about the Lee Lures and we talked about the Pafford. I have a tendency, you know, in clear water conditions, I definitely without a doubt prefer Lee Lures, you know, flap tail, you know, with the plate in the back. In stained water, I would have a tendency to use this in stained and or dark water post foam conditions. From here on over, I consider these dark water flap tails. Yep. There's, you know, they're big, they've got mass, and as you- Push a big wake. They push a big wake. If you notice, these were quieter than this TR. So just for giggles, the only difference in this one is it's got no spreader bars. No spreader bars. So, do you know when you would use the? I mean, when you would use the difference? Earlier than the year, and well, what we would normally use this for is if, say, if I'm searching for fish and we know we've got active fish, but it's calm as glass. Yeah. If the water conditions are calm as glass, we would use you know this with you know without spreaders. One of the tendencies, and I think your dad will agree with me. They have a tendency, because you're fishing these in tough conditions, they have a tendency to just kind of kiss the bait when you say, Yep. Yeah. So the, the spreader bars helps hook, you know, give you a little bit higher hooker, Rachel. But listen to this. Look at the roll on that body, though. Doesn't help when you get weeds on it, either. Is rolling back and forth, taking against that blade. Well, you keep hitting, you're hitting the weeds, aren't you? Here. Flap tails are good at getting weeds. There you go. Jeez. <laughs> and that sounds a little similar to that. Other one, it's just this one has a little more of a body wobble. Okay. Okay. The next one, okay, would be Lee Lures. This would be a dark water bait for me. Uh, you know, here you got the smaller. You know, Lee Lures, this is the a little is, bit bigger mass, more dark water. And this is the, I believe it's the HD. It's HD, yep. The Flap HD. And this has a little. They just came out with that one. Just came out. Last week. 
And look, it's got a washer on the back. That's this thing is gonna be loud. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've thrown this thing a couple times, and I just am in love with it. It's got a pop to it too. It just takes against that uh, washer. If you notice with this bait, as well as the TR, the walleye color TR, and they got a, the, the flap tail's got a deeper sound to it, whereas the Pafford and the Lee Lures has got a little bit lighter sound. It'd just be so nice if the fish just came up and ate this right now. I'm sure you'd like that. <laughs> The other bait, the last bait we've got here, and again, these aren't all the uh, all the all the flap tails that are on the market. This is just baits that we had right here. This here is made by Big Guy Baits. It's uh, the gentleman that makes this. is His name is Babe Campbell. This is a, a wonderful dark water bait, and you're going to hear by the sound. Again, if you notice on the bigger baits, we've got spreader bars, you know, which helps you hook a lot more fish in that dark water. Uh, it just gives you a higher hooking ratio when you're using spreader bars. Yeah, and so, again, a lot of times when they hit flop tails, they usually hit them. Sometimes they just go behind. right after the blade. Yep, you're exactly right. And they just, they rock their head and they get hooked perfectly right in the corner of the mouth with those I'm going to be interested bars. in what you think of this one here, Fisher. Yeah, it's got a big head. I think it'll be push a pretty nice wake. That's got a pretty deep. It's got a met deep metallic sound to it. What do you think, Fisher? Sounds pretty good. Pushes a really nice wake. Yeah. Just to recap, your smaller baits with a little bit less in the back, your clear to stained water, mainly stained water. I love this Baffert yeah. uh, flap tail. In darker water, TR, you know, Lee Lures, a Psycho Flap, we don't have one here. Uh, and this, uh, big you know, guy. Big Guy baits, you know, you know these baits here. Notice that it's a little bit, little, little bit lighter in, in in noise. These had a deeper sound to them. Like we went from uh, quiet, medium, medium, to and loud. loud. Bam, and we've got them covered. And those so, are most of the flap tails that. I mean, obviously we have all those flap tails, so they obviously work pretty good. They definitely were good. Different tools yep. for different situations. That's the, exactly it's the, what they are. Exactly. It's the unsung hero of topwater baits. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Yes. <laughs> so, guys, we're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. So if you can hit that subscribe button and check out the video so you can get a chance to win a rod. As soon as we hit 2,000 subscribers, we're going to give away that rod to one of you lucky winners. Nice so, Elk River rod. It's a really nice Elk River rod. rod. Yep. And if you guys want to see more videos with Rich, comment down below. We'll see you on the next adventure.